Hello everyone. Today our project is on infant cradle monitoring system. So for that we have used a Node MCU microcontroller which has an inbuilt Wi-Fi so that it can able to connect to your mobile hotspot and will upload the data to any third party server. And the sensors that are used in here is this is a sound sensor which will be activated when any kind of sound is being identified like baby crying sound this will be placed in real time near the baby so that it can able to clearly identify the baby crying sound and this is a DHT11 sensor which can able to identify humidity and temperature of the room and this is APR9600 voice module so using this module we can able to record the voices and will play the same voices which was recorded inside the IC so here we have a microphone on this uh, board itself which can able to get input as our voice and this IC will able to store that and the same will be played through this speaker and here we are having a CPU fan this can also be called as DC fan so that uh, this will be activated only when high temperature is been identified by DHT11 sensor so we have set the threshold in the code as 29 degree centigrade if the threshold is been crossed means the fan will automatically turn on until and unless the temperature will be reduced down this CPU fan will be activated using the relay and can be turned off using the same relay. All the commands to the relay was being given through node MCU. So the entire operation will be done inside the node MCU which was written in the form of code. And here we are having a motor driver module and a DC motor. So here DC motor indicates the cradle and motor driver is been helpful to change the motor direction and speed so here we have used it only for changing the direction of the motor which will uh, shows the indication of cradle swinging and uh, here we are having a power supply board the input is been given through the adapter as 12 volts uh, power supply to the power jack and this will be given as input to this power supply board and at its output we will get a pure DC 5 volts voltage and 12 volts voltage as uh, if any kinds of ripples present on the output of that uh, adapter means this uh, bridge rectifier and capacitor will uh, filter all the AC pulses present in it and regulator will regulate the entire voltage to 5 volts and uh, this one is uh, nothing but an extension for power supply board to distribute the entire voltage to all the sensors and actuators so here the actuators are like DC motor, DC fan and a voice module and uh, sensors like sound sensor, DH11 sensor and main microcontroller is node MCU and before going to the execution uh, initially we need to change our mobile hotspot credentials as a username project 1 password 12345689 these credentials were mentioned in the code itself so that when the device turned on it will automatically connect to that hotspot this uh, ESP device is nothing but our node MCU actually so the device is been connected and uh, now we will check the sound sensor by playing some baby crying song Sound is being identified. A 
song will be played to calm down the baby. So the DC motor is uh, slowly rotating to indicate the cradle swing. So as it is a 10 rpm DC motor and we have kept it delay as uh, 6 seconds, 4 to 6 seconds actually so that uh, it will slightly swing like one fro. And let's see the temperature changing. Here I am using a soldering rod for changing the temperature actually. It will take a few seconds to show the change in temperature. High temperature, so, high temperature, high temperature, CPU fan turned on along high with a voice playing like high, high temperature, temperature. High until and unless uh, high the XT11 gets uh, high temperature. detected low high temperature, temperature, the CPU fan high won't turn off. High temperature, high temperature, high temperature, high temperature. So as the temperature is been reduced down, the CPU fan will automatically turn off by itself by and also the voice will be stopped and the values of the dht11 like temperature and humidity both will be uploaded to a third party server which is a thingspeak server you can uh, log in through thingspeak.com and uh, create your own credentials and uh, we have to mention that same api key in the code itself so with our credentials we have done and uh, let's see the output how it will show in the server So that's it for the project. Thank you for listening.